All right, guys, here's five ways to impress your client. Let's go through them. First, planning and efficiency. So this is the reason why we do the layouts on the ground, because what we want to do is we want to create uh, the vision for our team, for the client, and we also want to have a good game plan. So when we are working, uh, we can stay focused. We know exactly where everything's going to be you know, taking place. And that just helps us uh, throughout the entire process. And that keeps us ahead of schedule and it keeps us on point. So planning out, simply laying out the tieback on the ground and getting the game plan on the ground, getting the design on the ground really helps us. So that's a great point when you're talking about, you know, when the client comes downstairs, looking around, that really helps them visually. So that's point number one. Point number two, attention to detail. Uh, this is why uh, we actually took the time to install some of the timbers. We started carving up some of the timbers because when the client walks in, we want them to be able to see the level of detail that will go through even on a mock-up. That's important too. So attention to detail. Number three, solve more problems than you're responsible for. So it's your job site and you know exactly what needs to be done. You know all the different crafts, the different trades that might be involved there. So start looking for ways to be a blessing to others. Uh, solving roofing problems, uh, solving you know various situations, various, uh, various things that might, uh, or a contractor might come in and say have questions or something about it, you know. Get that figured out and get your work in tune with what they're going to do so that their job is easier. Or if it's not going to be easier, at least you have an idea for them so that they can take care of it or, or work efficiently through it. This point number uh, three uh, comes, comes in in a little bit. Number four, undercommit and overperform. This is a general rule that I try to use on all my projects. Uh, downplay what you're going to do and then boom, upgrade, 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 upgrade. You, you sell it with all the upgrades, but you don't necessarily have to tell them what you're going to do. You just want those to be subtle bonuses. So undercommit and overperform. And the fifth one is go the extra mile. We've got this huge mock-up, and uh, this goes back to... Uh, touching on the solve more problems than you're responsible for. So one of the things that needed to be done was lighting. Well, I've carved all this rock up. I know exactly where the lights are gonna be the best. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go out, get the appropriate materials uh, for this mock-up. It was Walmart, a couple purchases of some uh, flashlights that you would normally get for your kids. Uh, strategically placed, inserted into the foam. And voila, you've got a wonderful uh, effect. So going the extra mile, solving out where all the lights will be, you know, marking them accordingly. You could have zones already laid out. You could have uh, various effects already installed in your in your uh, foam work. So uh, tomorrow when the client shows up, we're going to have a really good time listening to what he has to say about our work. And uh, it's exciting. So... Those are five simple ways to impress your client. I'll recap planning and efficiency using your templates. Attention to detail. Solve more problems than you're responsible for. Undercommit and overperform. And number five, go the extra mile. I hope you get something out of that today. This came out better than I thought. That's nice. Timber? Timber? That's beautiful, man.